What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video guide, I'll be showing you how to fix Rainbow Six Extraction when it's not launching, crashing on launch, crashing during gameplay a few minutes while playing, black screen, etc, etc. This video should fix a lot of issues that you could be having with this new release. Of course, if your issue isn't fixed here, it's likely something to do with an early release. And of course, sometime in the future, that issue will be fixed unless there's a specific fix for your specific issue. So do keep Googling and make sure to be as descriptive as possible if your solution isn't in this video. Anyways, let's get into some general solutions. First of all, if you're getting an error on your screen talking about MSVCP or MSVCR missing a DLL, all you have to do is head across to the Microsoft link in the description down below. When you get there, simply click the link next to X64 here under 2015, 2017, 2019 and 2022. When the download finishes, click on it to open it up and follow through with the installation steps. When you've done so, you should no longer be receiving that missing DLL error. If you're not getting a DLL error or anything in particular that you can Google for a better solution, well, here's some general steps. First of all, if you haven't already, try restarting your PC. This can often be a simple solution, but it does work. When you do restart your PC, it'll also force Ubisoft to check for updates, not only for itself, but also for the game, if a fix has been released that your PC hasn't yet picked up. If that didn't work, however, it's a good idea to try and verify game files. This can take a while and has different steps for different platforms. I have this game in the Epic Game Storm, so of course steps here will be different to the Ubisoft Storm. Unfortunately, on some platforms, you won't be able to verify game files and your best solution is reinstalling. If you get to that point, make sure to try these other steps first before you try and reinstall it. The next simplest thing to do besides verifying game files is making sure everything's up to date. Fire up the settings window and head across to Windows Update, check for updates and see if there's anything new. If there is, download updates and things should be working properly. This game does work with Windows 11 and Windows 10, so don't think you're being forced into upgrading to Windows 11 if you're comfortable on Windows 10 like I am. On top of this, if you haven't done so in a while, you will need to update your graphics card drivers. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the NVIDIA website and the AMD website. If you prefer to use something like NVIDIA GeForce Experience or AMD's equivalent updated, don't be afraid to do so. Just make sure you download the latest version of your graphics card drivers, install them and give your PC a restart afterwards. If you're still having issues and you're on a laptop or a computer with multiple GPUs, there are a couple solutions that I've heard of. Make sure that the game's running on the correct graphics card. But what you'll need to do is head across to your game client of choice, right click it and open file location. Of course, steps will be different for the Ubisoft launcher, Epic Games, etc. I have it installed through Epic Games here. All I have to do is head across to my games folder, Epic Games and RSE, Rainbow Six Extraction or RSE Demo if you're currently trying out the demo. All you need to do is scroll down until you see the main EXEs. What we're looking for is r6-extraction.exe, not BE or PLUS. If you're playing the game through Ubisoft Plus, you'll need to follow the steps for this underscore PLUS version as well. What you need to do is click at the very top to copy the path, right click copy and then hit start. Type GPU and open graphics settings. Inside of here, simply make sure that you have a desktop app selected for graphics performance preference and then click browse. Then navigate across to where the game is. So click at the very top, paste it in and hit enter. Then you'll be double clicking on R6 extraction.exe. When it pops up on the list, click options and then choose high performance save. Again, if you're playing this on Ubisoft Plus, you'll need to add another game, click browse and double click on R6 extraction plus.exe options high performance save and you can close out of this window. The next time you launch up the game, things should be working properly. However, if you're still receiving crashes while you still have that folder open, it's a good idea to make sure that that exe and other files in there are whitelisted in your antivirus. If you don't know how to do that, you can temporarily disable your antivirus to see if it could be causing any issues, firewall or otherwise. On top of this, if you have the game installed through the Ubisoft launcher, make sure that you don't have the HD texture pack installed as the requirements may be too high for your PC and that could be causing issues. Of course, you can lower graphic settings in game if you haven't already, but if you're not even getting to the main menu and you have the HD texture pack installed, make sure to try and uninstall it. On top of this, a weird solution I've heard of is simply disabling your integrated graphics card if you have one so that you only have your dedicated graphics card selected. 
I'm pretty sure that graphics setting that we messed with earlier should solve it, but if it doesn't, hit start, type in device, and open device manager. Note that if you don't have a dedicated graphics card or you're not comfortable doing anything, don't follow these steps here. Expand display adapters, locate your integrated graphics card, which will usually start with Intel or AMD, right click and simply disable. Note that you don't want to do this if you only have one graphics card or you're afraid of what it may do. Don't worry too much, there are other solutions. The next simplest solution is simply turning off all overlays and programs that could be hooking into it. The simplest way of doing so is restarting your PC and anything that starts up with it, such as Discord, Steam, etc., try and disable overlays. That way, few things will be hooking into the game and nothing should really be causing it to crash. Something that can cause it to crash is MSI Afterburner, Discord Overlay, etc, etc. On top of this, if things still aren't working, navigate back to the game's install folder, right click the actual exe itself, so R6 Extraction, or underscore plus if you're using the Ubisoft Plus version, right click and then click Run as Administrator. This will boot the game up in admin mode and should hopefully fix things for you. Note that while you're running the game in admin mode, things like Discord hotkeys won't work properly. If you're able to actually get to the settings menu, but the game itself isn't stable, try lowering your graphics options. And if that hasn't helped, try play in windowed mode and disable VSync. That has worked in some cases. Finally, if you're still having issues and you have more than one hard drive or SSD in your computer, try moving it to another drive. A couple of people mentioned that moving it from an external hard drive where they originally installed it to an internal one or an SSD has solved their issues. It could be as simple as that. But anyways, that's really about it for this video. If you're getting any error messages on your screen, make sure to Google as much as you can for those particular errors as you'll find better solutions than this general guide. If you're still having issues on top of this, well, head across to the Ubisoft forums for Rainbow Six Extraction and see if you're the only one. Solutions will come out for issues and the game will slowly become more stable as time passes. It is still very close to release, so issues are bound to happen. Anyways, that's really about it for this guide. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.